Ms. Clark holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration with an emphasis in Business Information Systems from Cal State LA. Furthering Hitachi's commitment to corporate social responsibility, Ms. Clark is among the few selected as professional trainer for Hitachi's Community Action Partnership. She also chairs the company's local community action committee and is past chair and current treasurer of Hitachi's Southern California Regional Community Action Committee. Ms. Clark serves as executive partner for City Scholars Foundation and as board of directors executive board treasurer for the nonprofit organization Dramatic Results. She is the recipient of numerous awards for excellence in community involvement in business including the Bank of America Achievement Award in Business, the Omega Sci Fi Zeta Road Chapters Citizen of the Year Award, and Hitachi's highest honor, the coveted GM Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Community. Additionally, the Southern California Regional Community Action Committee was recently bestowed the prestigious Global Inspiration of the Year Award, North America Region, in Corporate Social Responsibility. Ms. Clark is committed to strategic alliances and targeted partnerships that benefit our societies underserved. As such, she is engaged in the community, partnering with numerous nonprofits, unselfishly giving her time and talents to help meet their needs. Further, she leads volunteer and fundraising efforts benefiting nonprofit organizations and the communities they serve, including food drives, holiday drives, and numerous volunteer events during the year in support of community youth and families. As a mentor to youth and young adults, Ms. Clark is increasingly getting involved in the school system by tutoring, career counseling, and other activities to support the growth and long-term development of students. She is currently pursuing a master's degree in theology at International Seminary, an institution globally acclaimed for its preparation of leaders who transform local communities into vibrant places of worship, justice, and mission. Outside of her professional and philanthropic activities, Ms. Clark is active in church ministries, serving as a certified BOSS instructor, licensed evangelist missionary, worship leader, and minister of music, as well as Sunday school and Bible study teacher in her local church. Married with one daughter and two toddler grandsons, among Ms. Clark's personal pursuits are running, writing, and graphic design. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Sharon L. Clark. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for that amazing introduction. I was waiting for the phenomenal woman to come forth. I think they added a few things because I didn't recognize it that too. But uh, seriously, thank you. I'm deeply honored and graciously humbled on tonight to accept this very prestigious award. In a group of this size, I imagine that there would have been a very large pool of deserving candidates from which to choose. So that makes it all the more special. Here I stand. Thank you for thinking about me, for nominating, considering, and ultimately selecting me. There have been times when people have said, I thought about you, but there was no visible evidence to bear that out. <laughs> but tonight, not only have you thought about me, but you've chosen this very public arena. What I know to be the best and the brightest in the room to honor me, and I appreciate that. I've attended this event several times and I'm always excited and inspired by what I see and hear. Young men of color um, achieving such high honors and being awarded for their impressive achievements. We, all, we don't often hear about this in the news, but this should be trending, this should be hashtagged, and this should go viral. And it could. It could, were we not so consumed with fake news, <laughs> alternative facts, and now most recently, Kofefe. <laughs> but 
The thought never entered my mind that I would be standing here one day on the receiving end of such an honor. I was always taught that it's more of a blessing to give than to receive, and I agree. But tonight, I'm truly honored and grateful to be receiving this award. Joining me tonight, I'm honored to have my mother, a beautiful mother in the room, my sister, my niece, single, <laughs> my daughter, and two of my colleagues one of which is Lori Gage, the current chair of the Southern California Regional Community Action uh -huh. Committee. All have traveled some distance to support me, so I'm very grateful for that. And if my pastor, Superintendent Johnny C. Smith, were alive today, he would be here as well. I was taught early on and have held to this principle in the giving of my time, my treasure, and my talent that you shouldn't give or work to be seen. We know some of us only work when the boss is watching. <laughs> Not you, but somebody at your group. <laughs> but we shouldn't give to be seen, but we should be seen giving. So when the camera's not on, when no one's recording, when it's not on the news, nobody's going live on Facebook, if it's what you do, then you just do it. I volunteer and partner with many nonprofits and causes inside and outside of Hitachi. And believe me when I tell you that this group is gold and shines bright like a diamond. Bridge Builders Foundation, thank you for being amazing in our community and for all you do in changing the equation and the outcomes for youth of color. Your guidance, the mentoring component, the time you invest in our youth in areas where illiteracy and apathy have become systemic and difficult to eradicate. You've saved the course, and we salute you tonight for your 35th annual salute. And to the scholarship recipients, we applaud your accomplishments and encourage you to continue to persist. Einstein said, it's not that I'm so smart, I just stay with problems longer. <laughs> That's perseverance. Maya Angelou said, we may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. And when we know that we have purpose, then no matter what comes, we can continue to press toward the mark and persist until we succeed. My life has been about perseverance. I didn't have the luxury of a mentor back then. So if I didn't have it on the inside, I would have simply given up. I've mentored many since that time, and with so many negative influences today, this mentoring element is critical and crucial to our youth today. With faith and perseverance, you can complete any undertaking so when they try to discourage you, and when you know you're not the favorite, I encourage you to keep pressing. When they don't expect you to, and they wish you wouldn't, I encourage you to keep pressing. And even when you're in your own personal storm, don't pull over. But against hope and against all odds, I encourage you to keep pressing. I'm amused that this honor is in the area of perseverance. I recently received my personality profile back from the seminary. And my primary trait was high patience and perseverance. It said that people with this trait develop that highly, among other things. It said they accomplish their goals through steady determination and persistence. That's perseverance. Between that analysis and your award in this category for me on tonight, it's caused me to take another look at myself and to be really thankful for who God has created me to be. In closing, I will say that the Hitachi Southern California Regional Community Action Committee and the group companies that comprise it are determined to be recognized as a good corporate citizen and community partner in our neighborhood. As you've heard, you know, we're pleased to, prop, to partner with uh, Zeta Row Bridge Builders since 2005, where as you've heard, we, we met at a UNCF walkathon. We met James Breedlove and Tony Collins, and the true rock star of the group, Crystal Breedlove. And I honor her memory on tonight. The men had the facts about Zeta Rowe and what they were doing, but Crystal had the facts and the charisma. And it was really her magnetic personality that drew us in, and we've been connected ever since. And so with that, I thank you for, their, for um, being the recipient of such a prestigious award and, and my colleagues that are also being honored tonight. Congratulations. I thank you. And for everyone who's had anything to do with this nomination, um, I appreciate it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs>